how are we doing, Montreal? All right, that's fair. Um, oh my God, you guys, I, I'm really excited to be here. I know it's an honor to be here and that's great, but I found out this morning that one of my friends, I found out on Facebook one of my friends is getting to judge the pie contest at the Ohio State Fair, so really she's winning and I'm just here, okay? Um, I work a lot, who, who, like, who works like crazy out here? Okay, well that's fair, you work in this scene, so you're probably not working too hard. Uh, I work a lot, and my boss, he pulled me aside the other day, he's like, hey, you've been late a lot lately, what's going on? I was like, oh my God, that's so unprofessional of me, um, I hate it here. Uh, I work in medicine, does anyone here work in medicine? Yeah, that's fair, they're out doing real things. Uh, I do work in medicine. If I could write a book about working in medicine, it'd just be called, Why Is It Wet Here? Uh, I, work in, I work in radiation therapy. I inject people with radiation uh, for fun and because it turns me on. Uh, but uh, the reason I work, I like working in hospitals and the reason I like working in hospitals is because there's lots of empty rooms. Say with me. Um, and the only thing I don't like is I don't know the way, like the way that TV portrays empty rooms. They make it seem like everyone is in there fucking. No one's in there fucking. We're all just farting, okay? <laughs> We're all just farting. Uh, to keep going on that, I think my coworkers think I have IBS, but I just like to sit in the bathroom and play Diner Dash <laughs> and figure out how I got here. Um, my boss, uh, I hate my boss. He hates me too. It's fine. It's mutual. <laughs> He, uh, he pulled me into his office the other day and he's like, he was staring at me and then I was staring at him. And then he was staring at me. And then I was staring at him. And then he said, you have to stop telling patients how much you hate Jared Leto. <laughs> to which I said, what if it's important to their care? Okay, we don't know what cures cancer. <laughs> I'm not good at life. I think you guys are picking up on that. Um, I go to therapy, but mostly because my therapist's office has these pens that I like, and um, I can't get them unless I go. It's like a prize for mental illness. <laughs> Uh, but no, I'm not good at life. I know I'm not good at life. And the reason I'm not good at life is because I'm a rich kid. And that surprises people because you guys are racist. Um, <laughs> but I am a rich kid. Let me tell you something. You can be black and privileged and still amount to nothing. <laughs> uh, in my defense, I didn't know as a rich kid. I think my dad is the only surgeon who exclusively shops at Duluth Trading Company. <laughs> he, yeah, he looks like he's been fishing for 70 years. Uh, <laughs> My parents are both successful, a bit too successful for my taste. Uh, uh, my whole family's successful. My aunt and uncles are all doctors. My cousin's a doctor with a TV show. My other cousin's a NASA scientist. And I do comedy <laughs> one night a week <laughs> for $20. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is, all, this is all for them. This is just proving my high school teacher wrong, okay? <laughs> That's why I'm here. Um, it's hard. Yeah, my parents are successful, and I know I'm not successful because successful people don't spend the amount of time that I spend at 7-Eleven. Um, but I did, I grew up, I'm a, I grew up with a rich kid, and I, I grew up with other black rich kids. We were like the X-Men. Um, <laughs> except our only weaknesses were like microaggressions in our hair. Um, I did have a lot of white friends, not for any particular reason. You guys are just always around. <laughs> Okay, statistically, <laughs> look at this room. Um, I, uh, I think my friends thought they were getting a cool black friend, but I was like, buckle up, baby. Because <laughs> uh, I used to read and write good Charlotte fan fiction. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Until the healthy age of 27. <laughs> okay. I don't know if people don't respect me because I'm fat or because I'm black or because my email address is simpleplanlover157. <laughs> That's right, baby. Uh, no, I, I am, in, like I said, I am in therapy, and I actually go to group therapy. And um, on the first day of group therapy, I knew I needed to be there because the people I related to most were the middle-aged white man and the middle-aged white woman. And I was like, yeah, we need to figure this out. <laughs> uh, no, I, um, 
Uh, here's the thing about me. I, uh, I dated during the pandemic. Who dated during the pandemic? <laughs> oh, you're all just happy and in love. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I dated during the pandemic. And I, I, I only dated because I don't know if you, here's the thing. I don't know if you guys know this, but Pornhub and Grubhub are not the same thing. <laughs> but I use them a lot and generally at the same time. That's what I like to call talent, baby. Um, I, I'm not a very, I, I was in food therapy during the pandemic and um, food therapy, I do that because I'm trying to lose weight and uh, I don't trust my food therapist, okay? One, he's skinny. That's a red flag right there, okay? Cause, uh, and he's not like Jenny Craig or Weight Watcher skinny, he's born this way skinny. And uh, which doesn't work for me because if you haven't eaten a rotisserie chicken over a sink, we are not in the same place, baby. <laughs> The second reason I don't trust him is because he asks really stupid questions, okay? Uh, one of the questions he asked me was, uh, can you go eight hours without eating? And I was like, do you mean sleeping? <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here on this. Um, I, I, I'm not a very confident person, um, but I realized I'm more confident person I thought I was because I went through TSA with three containers full of ribs. I know what you guys are thinking. And so the TSA agent, he throws my bag down in front of me, he's like, open it. And I'm like, great, role play. Uh, <laughs> so I ripped the bag open, he's like, what's in this first container? And I was like, ribs. <laughs> he's like, what's in the second container? And I was like, ribs again. <laughs> he's like, what's in the third one? I was like, I think you know. <laughs> but it's ribs. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, I've been Victoria Vincent. <laughs> 